Hello, I'm going to show how to put a water effect onto this road so it looks like kind of like the road is immersed in water. So I got this picture of a road and a mountain. I think it works pretty good for what we're going to try to do. And I'm actually going to put another photo in here. So for this one, I'm going to use... I have some different ones. I have some different water waves, but I'm going to try this one right there like that. And I'm going to expand it a little bit so it fills up the whole photo. Although I don't really have. There we go. And then I'm going to actually for right now, I'm going to put this underneath there. I'm going to take it. Then I'm going to actually, I'm going to add a mask. To it. So if I go right here, I'm going to add a layer mask. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the paintbrush and I'm going to make sure that this front square is actually black. And now you see how that's white right there? I'm going to actually start to go over this layer mask and remove this photo that's on the top. And so I'm just going over here like this and removing this top layer photo. I'm hiding it really. I'm hiding it with black. As I come down, you can see the mountain, the photo that's be beneath this layer starting to be revealed. And now I'm actually going to keep the water over the highway part. Now I'm going to have to go back and forth because I'm going to, at some point, need to fix some areas. So like right there, I need to fix those areas because I need the road to be covered. So I'm just going to come down in here. And... So now you see I, I kind of went too far in some areas. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to reverse this and I'm going to paint with white. And white is actually going to, going to put this top layer back on again with the layer mask. There I'm going to, and then if I make a mistake, then again, I'm just going to go back and go to, so black hides, I should say black reveals underneath and white actually hides, white covers. So right there, we see that we have now masked off so that the water is covering the rope, correct? So what I'm going to do with this layer, I got the, the water that's on top of my background, the freeway. And I'm going to actually change the blending mode to, on this layer right here with the water, the top layer, I'm going to change that to overlay. Now this looks pretty cool. It's starting to see that effect we see underneath there, like the road. The only problem is it's kind of bluish. So that doesn't look normal, does it? So what we're going to do is we're going to change that. And we're going to actually duplicate the background. So I'm going to go to the background layer and go duplicate layer duplicate. So now I'm going to put this layer above above the water layer, but I'm going to change this only to color. There. And so now that's that's what you have. You have uh it looks like the road is full of water. Which actually works pretty good. And if you kind of want to fix that a little bit better, I can kind of go over just a little bit there on the edges. So that looks good. So that's one. And then I would, if you're going to turn this in, right, I would simply go file, save a copy, and we're going to save that. I'm going to say uh, water, Texture 
on road. I'll put my name in the front, right? There you go. And I'm going to save that to the downloads. So there we go. That's that. Now, let me show you another technique with this, and let's use a different texture, okay? So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to un... I'm going to... Well, let's just start all over again, basically, right? Because um, I think that way we can see. So I'm going to do this again, but I'm going to use a different technique, okay? So I'm going to go back in here, and I'm going to put on here a file of a different... One that we're going to use. And this is kind of like a cobblestone of some kind. So I'm kind of coming over here. And I'm just kind of there. You go. Now the question is right there in a the half. Is that going to be big enough? I'm just kind of getting an eye here. I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because I want to make sure that it fills up the space. Let's see. I think that's going to fill it up. Maybe make this a little bit bigger. There. Okay. So with that being said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hide that right there. And let's go like this. And so now this time, I'm going to actually go to the background. I'm going to make a duplicate a layer here so duplicate duplicate layer put that above it but we're going to hide that for right now i'm going to go to the background layer okay and i'm going to actually use the the quick selection tool okay i'm going to make sure it's on the plus and i'm going to select the road here so select the road and i keep on dragging across until i get it now notice i got the road Okay, so from here, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to this layer, back to the, uh, the, the layer I put on top that's hidden, which is going to be that cobblestone, right? So I selected the cobblestone layer above the background, and I am going to simply mask it off. So now I masked it off. You can't see what I masked because it's under, it's, 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 Hidden. So I'm going to reveal that layer, and you're going to see cobblestone now all over the road. But you can't see the road because I have to change the blend mode to overlay. Boom. There's overlay. The only thing I would say is maybe the color's off a little bit. So let's go back to this background layer, put that on there, and I'm going to change that to color. There, that looks better. And what you can also do, too, is you can go on this uh, edge right here, and you can change it to make it a little smoother, uh, feather it, shift the edge there, you know, a little bit smaller there. Okay, and that kind of smooths it off at the edge there, so it blends in better. But that's another way you could do it, too, okay? And then again, of course, I like that texture. I think it looks pretty cool. And I'm going to, you can experiment with all kinds of different textures you want. You do have to look at what your opacity, how dark the road is, the bottom layer uh, for your background. And then also how that affects, and then also like your texture darkness. So you kind of have to get that just right. But there you go. So let's save this one then. Go file, save a copy and save that to what cobblestone road blended my name in the front right and then simply save that to downloads that's a jpeg well hopefully you had some fun seeing how you can do some pretty cool things with the uh, overlay blending mode. And then again, remember this background copy duplicated, I changed that to uh, blended it with color. Okay, so there you go.